I am not running away. Jen and I were going to take the boys and go out and see the world. I may not have been able to protect my life, but I think I can damn well fulfill this one last dream. Well, excuse me, but Jenna was a friend of mine, too, you know, and I think I knew her a little bit. And I don't think she would have wanted you taking off all alone with the kids and swimming with dolphins and drinking stuff out of coconut shells. I think she would have wanted you here to stay at home with your family, Buzz. Oh, that's great family advice from a great family woman, isn't it? Well, you're right. <laughs> I screwed up. I messed up my life big time. I am the poster woman for what not to do. But I'm going to tell you something, Buzz Cooper, Buzz Cooper Rockus, all right? You can sail from here to the ends of the earth, and you will never find a sight more beautiful than the sight of your family around you. And that's what Jenna gave to you. That's the gift she gave you, the gift of family. I'm going to take that gift, and I'm going to put it in the boat and get it out of here. And what are you going to do about Harley and Frank and Marina? Huh? You have to stay. I you can't. I stay. can't. I can't stay here. Not another second. Not another minute. Don't you see? I'm in this place, this town, this is where she laughed. This is where she lived. This is where we fell in love. She's in every damn quarter telling me I'm too crazy. Telling me to get, to get her blanket because her feet are too cold. Or walk in the dining room. It's, Smile, that smile. I mean, she's everywhere. But I can't touch her. I'll never touch her again. I'll never see her again. Jenna! Jenna! Oh, God! God! I sell my soul to see you once again. One more time. The truth is, Riva is taking every innocent thing I do and turning it into something suspicious. No, you broke into the house saying there was some kind of an intruder in here. And he may still be in the house oh, for all we know. So Listen now he's still he's in saying. here. You gotta love this gal. That is it. I have had enough. I told her it was crazy to drag you away from work. There was nothing that you could tell her that I hadn't already told her. I think there is. Her. Oh, great. Okay, so you tell me. You tell me what it is that's going nothing. on. Nothing. There is nothing going on. I've it's been having these mind. feelings. What kind of feelings? I don't know if I can explain it. Probably something like premonitions or something about the stalker. That's what he was saying no, to me. No, no, Terry, that's not it. Josh, I want to Alan, this you. is not a good time. Wait, it's my time. We were in the middle of you negotiations, what, and you Let's walked right out of the office. Time. Let me show you the door. I want to talk to you, Reba. Reba, something is going on with Josh, and I want to know what can it you is. you save it for another day, No, I'm please. not going to save it. He offered me the Triple Z property, and there's something about that deal that stinks. No. He would never let that lease expire. That was a huge coup for him and HB when they got that land all those years ago. You must be mistaken. And I'm not mistaken. And when I ask him why, he keeps changing the subject and says how I'm corrupting Terry DeMarco. I know you came here to see me, Terry. No, I didn't, Josh. Oh, I think you did. You came to see me, I want to see you. I think about you all the time, I can't get you out of my head. Sit down, Josh. I've been calling you, do you know that? Leaving messages for you, trying to track you down, and here you are, right in my house. And I'm glad about that, very glad. I said sit down, Josh. Why would Josh? I want to sit down when I could be holding you? Now, you're going to listen to me. You're going to stop this nonsense right now. No, I know what you want. these guys this is ridiculous oh wait a minute i think i know what happened what if i'm not mistaken your father and selena are in the family conference room oh man you no, know no, no frank let him cool off i'll come out when he's good and ready tell you what i do i lock the door and i don't have to worry about him <laughs> what what are you gonna do then walk him and feed him twice a day i want you to promise me something Okay. I want you to promise me that you'll never ever leave me. Oh, Frankie. I hadn't planned on it anytime soon. Just so you don't. 
Johnny. It's going to be okay. I just want my father to give up this notion of leaving town. I know. I want him to stay right here with his family where he belongs. I know. I keep thinking Jenna's gonna walk through the door any minute. Can you imagine what it must be like for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can. All this talk about taking off. It's brought back a lot of childhood memories for me. When he left me. Look, we just lost Jenna. I'm not gonna lose my father, not again. Us has got a lot to stick around for. And not just us. He has a new granddaughter to get to know. Yeah, but from what I understand, she's going back home today. Well, there'll be other times. I hope so for Harley's sake. Yeah. Because it almost killed her when she gave that baby up. I don't know if she can handle it a second time. You cry. <laughs> You go ahead and have a good, hard cry. I've never seen her act like this before. Well, maybe it wasn't the right time before. Oh, Susan, I know how hard it is to lose your mother. I know how much you miss her. And no matter how old you get, it doesn't make it any easier. It still hurts. But it's just not fair. No, it isn't fair. It absolutely is not fair. But at least you got to know your mother and you got to know how much she loved you. And you know that, don't you? You know how much she loved you. That's why she told me all that stuff about you. She wanted me to go to you. Sweetie. Your mom. Your mom didn't send you to me. Because she wouldn't do that to your dad. She wouldn't. Your mom just told you about me because she wanted you to know about yourself, you know? All those stories that she told you about me, those were just really stories about you. That's all. And I was, I was just the beginning of you. So you're sending me away? I'm sending you home because it's for the best. But, but, but why? Because look at your dad. Look at your poor dad. <laughs> if he goes home without you, that wouldn't be the same for him. It wouldn't. It's okay, honey. You, you can come visit us anytime. Yeah. We'll, we'll be here. We're gonna be here. We can stay in touch with each other. We can email each other. It'll be great. It will. Sweetie. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> Honey, can I talk to you? Jim, can I talk to you? Look, I swear I've never seen her act like this before. I absolutely believe you. I do. I'm not, I'm not sure what to do right now. Well, I have an idea. I'm not sure you're going to like it, though. Give your children those memories, Buzz. Those memories of Jenna that are so precious that you say are everywhere. Don't let them forget. Don't let them forget the way she left. And the way she, she wished on stars with them every night before bed. And the way she loved their daddy. I wish you to the park. You'd buy a hot dog for the boys and eat it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you'd, you'd take Coop on a carousel and say that she was getting rocky if you ride because he wasn't born yet. And, and of course, she'd just get sick as a dog. But nothing fixed that one. Just the other day, we were standing right here, and we were saying the dumbest things to each other, talking about cans of tomatoes and whether we should reorder peas. And, and if I'd known, I mean, if I'd guessed that we were on some sort of time clock, I... Buzz, as Jenna knew, Jenna knew how much you loved her. Right after we decided to take the trip, she asked me to stay, to stay in the apartment. I 
I left a whole hour running over here to tell Frank and Elenia plans. I mean, a whole hour. I'd give anything to have that hour back. I should have stayed. I should have stayed. So stay now. It's too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Give your children that life that Jenna had here, the place that she thrived and lived in. Give that to them. Give them your family and your friends. But most of all, Buzz, give them yourself. No matter how screwed up you are now or how much in pain or how lost, don't do that.